The next piece that I want you to work on today is to get your magazine spread exported as JPEGs. So you're going to end up with two JPEGs of your spreads and you're going to post those into your project page. So you're going to go here to projects and go to magazine spread. So let's go ahead and get this ready. I'm going to make that smaller. I'm going to drag over a title. I'm going to type in finished magazine spreads. You don't have to format it exactly the way that I'm doing it. This is just a way to get it set up. I'm going to drag the image. I'm going to put the image above. But now I need a second one because we're going to be doing two spreads. Again, keep an eye on where that blue line is because that's going to determine where it gets dropped. There we go. So now I've got the two images right there. Finished magazine spreads. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my InDesign document. So I'm going to start with this InDesign document. I'm going to go to File, Export. I'm going to make a couple changes here. First off, again, I'm going to save it into that folder that I created earlier so I can have everything going to the same spot. I'm going to change this format here. I'm going to change it to JPEG. I'm going to click on Save. And now I want to make sure I make these corrections. From here, I'm going to export this as spreads. I'm going to go ahead and change it to maximum quality. And I'm going to change the resolution to 150. Colored space RGB. And then I'm going to click on export. I think I bypassed the file name, so I'm going to go back onto my desktop and check to see what I named those. Just to make it easier, I'm just going to call this magazine spread. Again, I'm just using former students work. What I'm trying to do is trying to keep this just for myself as clean as possible because we're going to be putting more stuff in here. So the more organized you can be just in general, the better. Magazine spread to dot JPEG. Awesome. So I get those pieces. Now I'm going to go back to my Weebly site. I'm going to upload. Upload that first one. And then I'm going to click on this. I'm going to upload the second one. Excellent. And from here, I'm going to click on publish. Now we're going to do a lot more with this site and showcasing all of the work that you've put into these things, including putting links to your Pinterest board, putting, uh, we have to do a written reflection, short little paragraph that explains your process and what you were doing with it. I think it's easier to show some of your process as well. So we'll be putting in screenshots of stuff. So we'll be adding more stuff in here, but for today, that's what I'm looking for. So you'll hit publish. Go ahead and I want you to highlight this and copy it. We're going to use that in the next video, but I'm going to go ahead and click on it and load it just to make sure everything's set. So now when I go to my projects under personal collage, should be personal collage and the finished personal collage text. When I go to the magazine cover, should be the magazine cover and then finished magazine cover. And for the magazine spread, the two spreads as JPEGs and the title. So that is what you're setting up initially for your personal portfolio site. We'll be adding a lot more stuff in here. We might even reorganize your menus and then we'll be adding in more stuff here. But the last part you need to do is I want you to submit your web address. That's when I click home, that's this address. So the one you copied, or you can copy yours right here. What I don't want is I do not want the address that has the word editor in it. And I'll mention that again when I get to the other video, but make sure you've copied the actual published site. 
And in the next video, I'll show you that part.